Does life imitate art or does art imitate life? Well, that's the big question we're asking today. Welcome to the show. This is me, Paloma, and today we're here at the launch of Gallery Veda at Rutland Gate. The inaugural show is titled Firm Ground Beneath Her, and in case you haven't already figured out from the title, it's featuring 24 eminent female artists. So it's going to be a celebration of a lot of things. We're celebrating art, we're celebrating womanhood, and we're certainly celebrating life. It's going to be an interesting evening and I'm sure a learning experience. Well, we're here at the launch of Gallery Veda and with me are the two ladies behind all of it. They've started it, they're running it and we're really happy to see something like this in Chennai. So we've got Antra and we have Preeti. Just the beginning. Yes. What more can we look forward to? We will definitely grow, but right now we're trying to uh, use the space we have because we are running it with another uh, person called Rupa who's running a furniture line. So we're trying to do something where people can come into the store and do everything for the house like fabrics, furniture, art, so that they don't have to, and Chennai really needs that kind of thing. So we just thought it's nice to open together and have kind of a thing. I just feel we will grow on basis of uh, you know artists and different kinds. We want to do something for the buildings, maybe have huge sculptures, few installations. Let's see. One last question. Whose idea was it to have an all-female artist showing? This is only female artists this evening, right? Yeah. So where did that idea come from? Uh, I think when we were discussing the show, I felt that let's show women uh, artists because usually, of course, there are shows which happen with women, but there are always a high-end women artist or you know someone who's just upcoming I wanted to have like a mix of all and I thought it was nice because being a woman myself I always uh, appreciated art and I always felt very it was close to my heart so I felt that these people who are working very hard on it needed some kind of a platform and, yeah they don't need a platform they are very big and renowned artists but we need to see yeah exactly so I wanted to promote that as my first show always that's how this all idea of having this came out. We're actually standing, I think, in front of my favorites for the evening, which is this collection of work behind us. But ladies, thank you so much. I suppose we should raise our we should raise our glasses and say cheers. So so cheers and congratulations to Gallery Veda. Thank you, thank you guys. Well, right now I'm here with Parvati Nair, Chennai-based artist. Parvati, hi, how's it going? It's going very well, thank you. So maybe you should uh, tell us a little bit about the work that's on display today. We'll start off with that and we'll go from there. Excellent. Well, this is a work about Chennai. It's, you know, it deals with Chennai maps and with poetry by Bharatiya. Right, right. So, you know, there are two lines of poetry which go, if I may quote, sure, sure. Rain that singeth thou to me, peacock dancing I to thee. Right. So the idea is of a poet navigating the city of Madras. And, you know, so I've used the peacock as a motive through, through the city and all the images are from the city and old maps and new maps of the city. So, you know, there's a little peacock who's traversing through the city and, you know, when you, the viewer, looking at the painting, goes through the painting, you know, there are little discoveries as there is when you go through a city. You know, you'll find hidden things, you'll find points of interest and, you know, um, like that is from, you know, say from St. Thomas Mount or there is a peacock feather hidden in the city. This is from a map which says the road to Madras. So there is detail, but the detail adds up to a larger experience of the city. So you're like a planner through the city. Another question is uh, why Chennai and where did the idea come from and where did it all start off? Well, I work with these things. I work with maps. I work with poetry. I work with things under a microscope or a telescope. So you think you know a city well, but then there is always something else to it, another perspective, another angle. So there isn't a, a you know, it's not, it's not a scientific thing of I will put this and this and this. You know, you read a fragment of a poem and you think, oh, that's so beautiful. Then you sort of, you know, in this case, I saw a peacock feather under a microscope and I thought, really? That's what it looks like? And then I remembered this poem with Bharatiyar and I love maps anyway. Bharati, thank you so much. We're gonna leave you to mingle with the rest of the crowd. We're taking up too much of your time, I think. Thanks so much once again and congrats again. Thank you. Well, right now I'm here with Rahane. Hi, Rahane. How's it going? Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm good. Uh, is this, I suppose, one of your creations I as well? So, don't worry. I'm not flying away anywhere. 
Okay, so let me quickly ask you, since the party is in full swing now, are you somebody that is into art, buys art? What is your, um, what level are you at? Let me ask quickly. I believe what we all do is art in some form or the other, and uh, I do buy art, but I have to. It has to be something that really touches a nerve, like these these beautiful cats over here. They're so fun. I mean, what a sense of humor. I love I love cats. So I mean, hats off to Amrita Sen, right? Her name is fabulous. I love her collection. With that, we come to the end of this segment and if there's one thing I learned, it's that art is for everyone. You don't have to be an expert on the subject to experience it and enjoy it. Well, we certainly had fun at the party. It was unique, it was different. And like I said, we've got lots of reasons to celebrate. For now, this is me, Paloma, signing off. I'll catch you guys in another exciting adventure. Bye-bye.